Hi, my name is Marion Musingu Zikaramaji. I am an One Africa member. Together with my family, we grow apples in Kanungu district under the brand name Daisy's Apples. My name is Evelyn Acheno from Uganda. I'm a One African member. I support smallholder farmers with information to access the markets and production. We also provide extension services to our farmers to ensure that they produce quality products. We link them also to markets and financial service providers. My name is Julius Raymond Kabogo from Kampala, Uganda. I'm the founding member and managing director of Musingi Poultry Limited. And I'm a member of One Africa. We deal in production of eggs and organic manure from Chicken West. We also aim at processing and packaging of organic vegetables. Our farmers have not been able to access the extension services due to the lockdown where things could not move, vehicles could not move to ensure that they reach them promptly to give them advice and get uh, quality produce. We are really worried on the production for this season. We were unable to travel to the farm as often as we usually do to fully supervise operations. We were also unable to bring in as many fruits to the city center to sell as we usually do because transport was even more expensive than it usually is. We tried to manage things over internet, but internet charges are high. And then also in our area, there's still a bit of, there's still some issues with connectivity. And so that interferes a lot with our operations and also drove some of our costs up. The price for the eggs, which is our major product, fell significantly from $3 to one dollar per trip. We lost a lot of revenue and the profitability that we had earmarked for the expansion and the growth of our business. We call upon supporters to support women in agribusiness so that their businesses can rise again, so that they can have hope again, so that they can live again to see that their businesses thrive and they go forward. We are appealing to government and donors to support us with grants that we can invest in equipment, that we can invest in facilities, that we can invest in all the inputs we need uh, for us to increase our production. And ultimately, this will help us create employment opportunities for the youth in Africa, for the youth in Uganda, and for the youth in my community.